Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin, and today we're doing another hotel unboxing. And if you're not familiar with my hotel unboxings, that's, that's what happens when I'm on a trip for work and I get my hands on a device that I'm just too excited about to wait until I get back to my office to unbox it. And that's what we have here. This is the OnePlus 7T Pro 5G McLaren, and it made its U.S. debut with T-Mobile's nationwide 5G launch. And this is why I'm excited about it. I've tested 5G before, but T-Mobile's is different. This is their 600 megahertz spectrum, and it's nationwide. This is the first one that I can actually test out at home, at the places that I normally go to. It's not gonna be a day trip to Manhattan where I'm running speed tests all day and, and just doing stuff while I'm there. This is something I can use in my everyday life. So I'm gonna start opening this because 5G at this point still needs a little bit of an explanation, right? This is not going to be as fast as Verizon's millimeter wave or for that matter, T-Mobile's millimeter wave. Ooh, this is a nice box. It's got a little internal box. It's T-Mobile on the side. Um, yeah, so millimeter wave is the fastest, okay? And T-Mobile has it in certain cities. And, like, they, they have it in, like, six cities. It's not nationwide like that. But the thing is, the higher the frequency, the faster the speed. And so millimeter wave is the highest frequencies. However, at that frequency, it can be easily interfered with. You could be on the wrong side of a window, and you won't be able to get a millimeter wave signal. And... Anything, a piece of paper, a leaf from a tree, anything will block that signal. So 5G is supposed to be a combination of sub six, which is sub six gigahertz and millimeter wave. So there's low band, there's mid band, there's millimeter wave. This is low band. Sprint has mid band. And if T-Mobile succeeds in buying Sprint, they'll have that, that band as well. And then of course, eventually they're gonna build that millimeter wave for a robust, a robust 5G network. Now this device does not support millimeter wave. It's only sub six, which is kind of a bummer. So if they buy Sprint, this will support that mid-band uh, spectrum, but it will not support millimeter wave. So you, you'll never gonna get those, those speeds. Of course, millimeter wave is very immature right now, and, and it's gonna need some time to get there. However, when it gets there, this device won't support it. I look at it as this is the device that's faster than the ones you bought last year. Yes, the devices next year will be faster, but if you need a device right now, 5G is still faster than 4G LTE. Check this out. We got a, um, a braided orange, um, you know, that McLaren orange color. It's, it's weird seeing a OnePlus box that's not all red. Um, but this is this is obviously all orange. You have the black never settle. And uh, it, lo it almost looks like I'm just using a bad camera. Like, if you, if you use a lot of, especially smartphone cameras, and you record red, then you, you know, You've seen it just turn up as orange sometimes. Sometimes the camera just freaks out, and that's not what's happening here. This is actually orange. Um, yeah, so this is the, oh wow, special McLaren uh, AC adapter, USB Type-A, of course, and this is Warp Charge 30T, which is supposed to be 23% faster than um, Warp Charge 30, which is interesting because uh, OnePlus does not use power delivery, so that means that if you use another 30-watt charger, you're not going to get the same speeds charging speeds that you will from a warp charge 30 charger so let's also take a look in here we should probably have some paperwork and um yeah we've got a sim card in here got a sim pin um some paperwork that we're not going to read so i'm hoping actually that i can just put my own t-mobile sim card in here some more paperwork that we're not going to read because um i don't know if you need a special 5g sim i don't think you do i've been told that you don't but you know who knows but that'll be that'll be cool just to be able to pop, pop my sim out of my regular phone and put it in there and just be able to connect to 5g and so t-mobile is promising speeds of um 20 percent faster than 4g lte i do know a few people who have been testing this out already here in maui at qualcomm snapdragon technology summit and 20 percent is very conservative in reality, people are seeing about 50% faster speeds, where 4G LTE will get you uh, 90 to 100 megabits per second, so it'll get you about 150. Now again, millimeter wave is much faster because when I do 5G stuff, people always ask like, hey, why is it so slow? And it's not so slow, it's just, it's there's different levels of 5G. 
And it's also about bandwidth. It's about being in a crowded place when, you know, those times when you have four bars of 4G LTE and you still can't access the internet. Those are times where you're going to benefit from 5G as well. This is a beautiful, beautiful device. Wow, that looks cool. Very cool. Um, so another thing about 5G is that, that some of these signals actually reach very far from the base station. So, you know, you could be very far away from a millimeter wave station. As long as nothing's blocking, you can receive that signal. However, your phone's not strong enough to send that signal back. So it might use a low band spectrum to send the signal back. And then you'll have a very fast download speed and then a very slow upload speed or a slower upload speed. Now, millimeter wave speeds are gigabit speeds. You can, I, I saw a speed test the other day, it was about 1.7 gigabits per second. That's 1700 megabits per second. It's wild. It's very cool stuff. So, I mean, you're, you're gonna want that combination eventually. But like I said, here we go. We have that 5G logo right here. As soon as I boot it up, I'm sitting here on a hotel balcony. Like the thing about, about a millimeter wave is that sitting here on a hotel balcony, I might not get that signal. You really have to be in a somewhat open space. You have to be in line of sight of a base station. So the only thing that really disappoints me about this phone, because I think that sub six 5G is fine, but what disappoints me is that when millimeter wave is available, I won't be able to get it. We're just throwing it back up here, setting up the in-display fingerprint sensor. And man, OnePlus always has great in-display fingerprint sensors. It's really good and they're really fast and accurate. Uh, probably some of the best on the market that I've used and I've used a lot of them, okay? Um, couple things about this device. It's very similar to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, I mean, in general, as far as, you know, you know, I should say that the OnePlus 7T Pro is very similar to the OnePlus 7 Pro. I actually struggled to set this up a little bit, probably because of the hotel Wi-Fi, but it's <laughs> done now. Um, so we're going to go with this recommended font. But notice that vivid option for the screen. And man, does it look awesome. Um, yeah, we've done this. Uh, back. Yes. Up. Okay. Recent. Why won't <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, these gestures are probably pretty well known right now, but if you don't go through a lot of phones, you might not um, realize it. So yeah, you'll, you'll see a tutorial when you boot it up. So like I said, it's kind of similar to the OnePlus 7T. What you get is you get that um, 120 hertz, uh, I'm sorry, 90 hertz OLED display. And um, yeah, it's beautiful, it's smooth, it's buttery smooth. It's, it's one of the best display experiences you're gonna see on a smartphone right now. It's super cool. Okay, um, you have that pop-up camera that, and pop-up, pop-ups in general, um, that pop-up camera that comes right out of the top of the screen for the smart camera, for, I mean, for the selfie camera. So there's no notch, even though it is a black background, and that's what you get with OLED, by the way, true black, which means pixels can be turned off and um, it just looks beautiful. Colors rendered on top of that true black tend to be more vibrant because they're not on top of a backlight. It's, it looks awesome. I gotta say OnePlus 7 Pro was one of my favorite phones of this year. So seeing this, uh, but the design of the McLaren is beautiful. Um, one of the key upgrades is a, a small chipset bump. It's a Snapdragon 855 Plus instead of a Snapdragon 855, which um, the only difference with the 855 Plus is it's made for gaming, so the GPU is uh, overclocked, the CPU is overclocked, um, the same core components, uh, not not too big of a difference. But yeah, that's the, the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren. And alongside of that Snapdragon 855 Plus, the, the screen is 6.67 inches and it's QHD plus. So 90 Hertz did make its way to the non-pro with the 7T. However, that is 1080p, not uh, 1440p. We also have uh, the camera, triple lens camera, which is the same, uh, similar. 14, 48 standard lens, 16 megapixel plus eight megapixel. Um, it's 3X zoom, so M1's ultra wide, of course. 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.0, two lane storage, 12 gigs of RAM. Okay, so this is kind of a beast. It's gonna be super fast. And the modem used is the Snapdragon X55, which means that it has dynamic spectrum sharing. Now, that means that it can do 4G and 5G at the same time. So those two things can build on top of each other, which is very cool. The, the, X, the last year's 5G phones used the X50, and so the X55 is definitely a step up 
from that. So also last year's, I, I had the OnePlus 7 Pro 5G, which was um, the Sprint 5G phone that was released. And that obviously had the uh, Snapdragon 855 and the X50, which by the way, the X55 and the 855 numbers have nothing to do with each other. Um, so that had the X50 and, and um, again, very similar device. So this is my second 5G phone from, from OnePlus, which is pretty cool. But that also only had eight gigs of RAM. So uh, this is definitely a step up in pretty much every way from that device. Right, so yeah, definitely pretty cool. It, it, I mean, if you've got a OnePlus 7 Pro on, on T-Mobile, you're probably not going to jump for this one. But man, this is a beautiful phone. I love that animation when you first unlock it. Um, USB-C port on the bottom, no headphone jack, which is no surprise. And um, I, I also, by the way, oh, that little orange switch. I, lo I love the switch. You can use it to silence calls or see if your ringtone's on, silent or vibrate. And it's a feature I've only otherwise seen on iPhones, so it's pretty cool to see it on Android phones. And OnePlus is the only one that I kn that I know that does it. So I think it's I, I I like to call them, get you know, give them a little attention for for doing that little feature. So anyway, guys, that's the OnePlus 7T Pro 5G McLaren. It's a mouthful to say, but it's going to be a beauty to use, and I, I can't wait to spend more time with it. And I'm I'm excited to be able to use T-Mobile. I mean, T-Mobile's 5G, T, or 5G in a place where I live. You know, um, right now it's major cities. One of my biggest questions for, for Qualcomm and carriers alike is, when do I get 5G on Long Island? And when I asked that, and that I, I immediately followed that up with, I don't actually mean Long Island. I mean Long Island and places like it. Right? We have 5G in Manhattan for T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint. Um, I'm not sure if it, I think at and is there as well. But, you know, wh when do the guys outside of those huge city centers get it? Because it's like, I'm not far from New York. Um, I'm still in a populated area. It's still the tri-state area. It's still a high priority area. So when do I get it? You know, and, and that's a question that no one can really answer. But T-Mobile has something. It's not millimeter wave yet, and this again, this device will not be millimeter wave, and you should remember that. You know, um, think of it as a device that's that the connectivity is faster than it was last year, and not as fast as it will be next year. You know, I, I a lot of people ask me what smartphone they should get, and I I tell them like, well, you know, you should really wait three months because this thing is going to come out, and they go, well, I need a phone now. You know, and, and I say a lot, like a lot of people just need a phone now. It's it's not a small amount of people. So, you know, if you need a phone now and, and you want 5G, this is it, you know, um, because it, it's still going to, it's going to be a while before 5G matures. You might be on your next upgrade cycle anyway. So um, I, looking at it now and knowing my experience with the 7 Pro and the 7 Pro 5G, I'd like this device is going to be a winner. So I'm, I'm pumped to use it. I'm pumped to use 5G, you know, in, in re regular everyday life. So anyway, stay tuned for more. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.